Yeah, days of COVID, I still need my mask. And for people to uh, feel safe, I still need to do it. I'm trying to get my key, so it's really hard for me. I, uh, Katie got me this really cool uh, thing. You know, always took them for granted, but having your keys right there when you can't do anything, it really helps. <clears throat> So yeah, the start of my day is I forget my mask. So, so you're about to enter the apartment again. Come on, keys. Oh, yeah, got the right key. Okay, good. Okay. We uh. That's my new bicycle, I'll put that in a, a different video. But, uh, um, where is the, where is the mask? Uh, this is Katie's mask. Okay, where is mine? What did I do with it? Huh. There it is, I found it. Hold on for a second. Let me uh, turn this around. Uh, this button, okay. Is it that button? No, I just took a picture. Um, oh, oh well. Here, I'll put it like this. So I'm putting this right here. Mm -hmm. Did you see? Do, do, do. Okay, I got my mask on. Yeah, so okay, go here. Yeah, see, a nice bike. Woo -hoo -hoo. But that's for a later video. And we're getting ready to move, so. Mm. Moving again. Can't wait, but we're staying in the same complex. Ugh, where is my key? Okay. There we go, here we go. Okay, now we're really going. Getting ready to go. Ready to go. And we're going. Okay. Gotta make sure. <laughs> and we're getting in the car. Okay, how you doing? I'm good Great. <sighs> okay, so I'm uh I'm a YouTuber as well. Uh-huh. And uh I've got a it's a automotive channel mm -hmm. and uh, I'm archiving my first site uh, I'm 50 years old and this is the first time I'll actually be able to see without glasses awesome. yeah and I had my uh, cataract surgery yesterday mm -hmm. and uh, you are part of the process <laughs> I only have 518 subscribers but hopefully by the end of this after this thing launches, you know, at the end of the month, I'll have double that, you know, and start making money. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> I've got hundreds of car videos on, on there. Uh -huh. You know, so I think I might even have this car on there. Oh, wow. But I, I, what I do is I take videos. I do video. Uh, or I, I, I shoot video for... Uh, someone that talks about their own car like everything that they love about their car and everything they don't like about their car and I'm not interviewing them I'm interviewing the car but they're in the background talking about it and that's basically the video okay. it's your personal opinion of your car you know okay. <laughs> oh, wow. so if you like how long have you owned this car for 
Oh, I'm gonna get monetized by your music. Yeah, only like two, like maybe two months, not even five. Okay, so what do you think of it? I love it. It hums when it backs up and when it's in uh, the park position, it, it has like a little musical hum to it. Oh yeah? That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of interesting and it's really quiet, so it's kind of stealth. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you pull off, you hear a very clear noise. So it's, a, it's an all electric? No, or is it's it a, a hybrid? Oh, it's an EV. Yeah. Electric and uh, and uh, gas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's great. So it's really quiet. It does really well on gas. Thirty dollars, um, approximately thirty dollars, depending on the gas price. I uh, will fill up the tank, mm -hmm. and uh, it's good for a nice, nice little while. I filled up yesterday, and I'm not even quite to a half tank yet. And how many trips have you done? Oh, I've done well over 40 plus trips. 40 trips and you're not even at half a tank yet? Correct. Wow, that's so amazing. It's really awesome on gas. This is a 2021 Honda Insight. Okay. Uh, so the gas mileage is real well. How much you pay for it? Well... I don't want to put that out there. No, no, no. They well, are in the ballpark. They're about twenty-five thousand. They're around twenty-five. Yeah. And you probably got a good deal on it. Yes. Okay. So, runs about twenty-five thousand. Um, however, now with this vehicle, um, once again, it's awesome on gas. This this one, this particular one, actually does not have a gear shift. Okay. This has the buttons, the actual buttons that you, you know. You can right, right. Use. It takes some getting used to, but right. kind of awesome. Um, the rear backup camera is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, it also lets you know when people are behind you. The backup camera goes in this this uh, big display right here, not in your mirror? Correct. Okay. It goes in the display and it actually, you have um, to where you have the view, the, a couple different views mm -hmm. um, with the back camera. Also, you have your side sensors, yeah. which lets you know when people are in your blind spot and it beeps. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, this vehicle also comes with the... All the safety features that you could ever want. Yes, definitely. So okay. you have people slamming on brakes and traffic and all that. The vehicle's going to sense it, and it's going to stop. It's going to stop for you, whether you want to or not. <laughs> right. No, I want to run into the guy. <laughs> no, you know. No. I want to see what he had for lunch. Yesterday. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> <laughs> it, it's actually pretty awesome, though. Um, I like it. It's, uh, it rides well. It's roomy. Mm -hmm. It's very comfortable. Um, I like the, the the seating though, especially because it reminds you kind of like of a cockpit. Oh, okay. So sorry about the mess up here, but you know I'm in here pretty much 14 hours a day. It's, it's fine, no big deal. I used to be a Lyft driver myself. Okay, so you know. Right, I know how it is, and you do whatever you can. And I've had the worst experience I ever had was somebody had sex in the back seat. What? And I had a. 2012 Ford Focus. I mean, there was more room back here than there was in my car. And they, yeah, they were able to do it. But the guy's like, okay, I know, understand my ride is over, but I just busted my stuff and uh, just drive wherever you want. I don't care how much it costs. Stay and keep me on the thing. I'm like, all right, okay. So I drove to PA and back and I was on for a couple of days. <laughs> oh my God. On that one trip. Oh my God. Yeah, I, yeah, I got it. It was, um, I mean, it was literally only a five minute, or not a five minute. It was uh, from downtown Cleveland to, um, I want to say, oh, it wasn't really that far. Uh, I'm trying to remember, but it was almost by the post office. Mm -hmm. From downtown to the, like, the post office. But it, Denison, Denison Harvard area. That, that's all I was, I was going to a bar over there mm -hmm. to drop them off. And from there to, from downtown, it was right after a, a Cavs game or something like that. Mm -hmm. Like they just won, uh, I think it was they won the championship is when I was driving. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and he was all excited and yep. And I think he had a hooker with him. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Okay. But it was it was crazy. I did all that and no big deal. But uh what was your longest trip you've ever had? Uh Cincinnati. That was a good one. Too bad it was one way, you know. Well three hours and forty 
45 minutes, but I typically work in the cities that I go to. Okay. So, say if I'm going, if I get a ride to Columbus and I work in Columbus for a couple hours, if not the whole day, uh, and then head back, start catching rides coming back. Right. You know. Um, it's really hard to do that. Well, you it's can super. Filter. Huh? You can filter it now. Oh, well, so you couldn't do that before. You, I mean, I'd be trying to, I'd be trying to, I'd have it on and I'd be trying to leave the city and to bring me back in. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm leaving. I don't want to be stuck here. Like, uh, like I'd go to Crackron, I mean, Akron, excuse me. Um, and anyone who lives in Akron and didn't like that, tough. <laughs> Crackron, yeah, because that's where all the crack comes in. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if I had to take somebody from Cleveland to Crackerin, um, then I then I was screwed because once you're down there, you're down there. You can't help, and it doesn't matter what time, day or night, they're gonna be calling left and right, and you're the only one out. No one else is driving down there. I'm not even kidding. Like at a certain time of night, no one's driving down oh, there. No, that I, I, <laughs> and you get, I get a 45 minute ride to Akron. <laughs> I'm stuck in Akron usually for about a couple of hours. Right, right. In the early morning, then I have to turn it off because if I don't turn it off, it'll just keep it's banging. It's gonna keep on banging. Yeah, I had like down. four or five rides in the in the thing, and then they're calling the fifth rider that just got onto my thing. Was calling you. Was calling me. I'm like, uh, hello. I'm the only one out here, as you can see for yourself, and you can't talk that way to people. Because they'll give you a, a bad review. You get a bad review or a bad star or whatever, or you don't get a star, you're screwed. Well, I'm just telling like it is. Long. Well, you know, right now I'm, I'm currently on a ride, so if you can please wait until I finish this and then put this up, then I can call you back. Right. Otherwise, I don't. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. No, I'm they wouldn't. I'm going to take a call while I have a passenger in the car because it's rude. Right. You know, and then secondly. If you're that situ if, if you're in that particular type of situation, then maybe you need to find an alternative. Right. Understanding this is a, you know, pay pay for your riding. You pay know. service, right? I get that, but if I have people in line that I need to service first, you have to wait your turn. Right. Now, hopefully, maybe somebody else jumps in, can jump in on the bandwagon. Right. But if they don't, then you have to wait like anybody else. But I never understood why would you let it go five, five in a row. Well, because that way they actually give them No, no, I'm saying, it, why wouldn't you just wait until the the second ride, at least we get to the second, sec, two in a row is okay, in a line. Like, okay, I'm dropping them off, no problem, I got the next one. Time to the, go to the next one. But, but five is like, very nerve-wracking. This is all before COVID, too. Right, well, they don't do the five in a row anymore, what they will do. However, is say, hey, there's another rider in queue. So, mm -hmm. like, for instance, I'm, I'm taking, I'm ready to take you and drop you off. And then they may say, hey, it's another rider in queue. Or, right. Uh, we're queuing another ride, a standard ride, whatever. Right. You know, um, they uh, queue them in now. They, they don't put them back to back to back to back to back. My favorite, my favorite drives were always people going through the doctor's office. Mm -hmm. Because for some odd reason, you'd always get paid more for a doctor trip than you would for a regular trip. Well, probably because that's built through insurance. Right. So, when it's built through insurance, then I'm pretty sure that you can charge whatever you want. But right, right, right. <laughs> you know, hey, not my business. That's right. Not, but no, that, that was, I always loved, like, what's your favorite time of the day to drive? Hmm, that varies. It just depends on the day. Like, say, for instance... I'm not talking about weekends. They don't count because weekends are a whole different animal. No, 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 no. Times of day... I would prefer at night because it's less cars. Mm -hmm. However, I drive in the daytime because of safety issues. Safety issues. Okay. Uh, the best time that I always... And I made the most money. Like, okay, I'm just going to ask you it. Um, you can answer if you don't want to. Uh... You can answer or you don't have to answer, okay? Mm -hmm. um, on average, how much do you make a week driving during a day? About 1200 $1,200. Mm -hmm. I was able to make uh, from a two-hour time span, okay, 
every day. I only work two hours. And I figured it out how to make uh, three times that amount every week. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy. And I only worked two hours a day to get this. And I, and I always got all the bonuses and all, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And sometimes three, sometimes four, but nothing more than that. Mm -hmm. You know, it just depended on the trips. But it was airport, going to the airport, mm -hmm. back and forth. I'd pick up somebody from the airport. I wouldn't wait at the, the thing where everybody else is waiting at, you know, to get an airport ride. And that's for somebody to come back. That's, I'm talking about hovering around Lakewood and uh, Rocky River and Westlake and stuff like that. And I'd always get the people going to the airport. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm picking up somebody that's coming away from it or going away from the airport, but they're not at an airport trip because you got all those people sitting there waiting for coming off the airplane. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like the worst. If you want to kill time, you go sit over there because you're not going to get anything until you're next up. And there's no guarantee that you're going to get that sweet ride either. It's just a big waste of time. Well, the funny thing is, is I tend to get a lot of long trips mm -hmm. and I tend to get a lot of airport trips. Right. Like, it doesn't matter where I'm at. I can be on the on the far east side they near near Chagrin Falls and they'll put it into my queue saying 25 minute ride to the airport. Right. And then you're like, like yes, bonus! Because, oh, it's the this blue awning building. I'm sorry. Well, I don't, it doesn't really, as long as I can get, as long as I get paid, that's all I'm concerned. I don't need to have a whole lot because I don't have a whole lot of expenses. Right, at, right. At the same token, if I make, I'm making more money than what I made at my regular job, mm. then of course I'm going to take it. Right. You know? So I was going from three o'clock in the morning till six o'clock in the morning, and I was done after six. Yeah, because you know that a lot of people are not out at that time. Nope, nobody is. Nobody is. Yeah. All right, you have a great day. Thank you very much. You are very much welcome. You have an awesome day as well. I, Congratulations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, now, how do I say your name? Aikita. Aikita. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a great name. Thank you. That's a great name. Very unique. And my name is Mont, if you didn't know. Mont? Nice to make your acquaintance. So I would give you some dap, but you got your hands full. Oh, that. <laughs> there you go. Thank All you. All right. Have a good one. You too. Boy. Oh, yeah. My channel is Speed Czar Services. Speed Czar Services? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. All right, let's see. It is what time right now? It is 7:56. I doubt my office I doubt the office is open, but I still got to go check. Going into it. They're probably not open. Oh, I can almost guarantee it. Elevator. Smells like fresh paint. <laughs> okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Two. It's a very slow moving elevator. This must have been like a department store at one point <laughs> with a very slow elevator. It kind of looks dirty through my lens, that door. Oh well. What do I know? Doctor, stop. Hey, how are you? I'm super early. I am documenting my site.
Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Okay. What time is my appointment? Hmm? Do you know what time my, my appointment is for? Uh, Nine o'clock? Oh, yeah? Okay. Jeez, I'm going okay, I'm going to...